an author you're a big advocate of, <laughs> Arno Schmidt, right? Yes. yes. Uh, you've written a book on him. It's the book here. His masterwork is coming out in English, actually translated for the first time this September. Is that correct? Yes, yes. And the German title is Settles Traum. What's yes. the English title? It's Bottom's Dream. Bottom's Dream. And most people have never heard of Arno Schmidt. <laughs> Regrettably, so, no. But we have a chance now to read his masterwork. Some of his others are in English already. Tell us why we should care. Uh, well, the Bottom's Dream, I don't know if uh, how many people will actually read that. That is a very uh, complicated piece of work. Uh, Anna Schmidt is a fascinating... And you love it, right? Uh, You've I, written a book on Schmidt. I do. I, I but, do. but again, it's on Schmidt as a whole, and Schmidt has written in several different uh, categories. So he's also written short novels and uh, stories which are much more accessible. But you mentioned. giggled when you read Bottom's Dream, right? Uh, yes. You uh, giggled a lot. That's, uh, well, uh, this is, it's, uh, the English edition, I think, is just under 1,500 pages. Uh, it's going to be... A bit it's compared to Dream of the Red Chamber, It's right? going to be about this big, and it's uh, written in three columns per page. Okay. So there's the main story, and then you have the commentary, and uh, not quite the footnotes, but sort of the elaborations on the side. But so talk, talk us into the work now. Uh, <coughs> well, it's... Uh, it's a work, uh, yeah. it covers a seven day span, uh, and basically it's a story of uh, translation. It's uh, basically some translators come to an expert on Poe and ask his advice about translating Poe. <coughs> um, as the title, Bottom's Dream, also suggests, there's a Shakespearean aspect to it as well. And um, I, I don't even know if it's Schmidt's greatest work. It's in, in some ways because it is such a, you know, beyond anything almost anyone else has ever tried to write, it is an immense accomplishment. Um, it's, probably, it's not the first Schmidt work you want to and read. And what's the first Schmidt work you want to read? Uh, well, if you eventually want to read Bottom's Dream, then The School for Atheists is the one to and read. And that's in English uh, now. That's, uh, that's being in English uh, now. Uh, interestingly, the person who translated all these books is John E. Woods, who is uh, famous for his translations of Thomas Mann. He did the definitive uh, Magic Mountain and Budenbrooks. Uh, and, uh, but he's always been translating Arno Schmidt for decades now. And, and you like the translations? Uh, yes, uh, and Schmidt, again, is one of these uh, writers who uh, you really, it's uh, difficult to translate him just literally. Uh, in the case of Bottom's Dream and the School for Atheists, uh, which are these, uh, he called them his typoscript uh, books because they were written on uh, larger than normal pieces of paper and allowed uh, not just writing line by line as we're used to, but uh, the, the um, uh, playing with the text. And so, for example, one of his favorite uh, things to do uh, was with words uh, where you can uh, change the meaning, uh, the beginning of the word, um, so you have both uh, school bus and school child, and so you would have school in, uh, as one word and the bus and child uh, on top of each other, so you could have both meanings of the word. And, uh, but he would take this to the nth degree. Um, and so a Bottom's Dream and also the School for Atheists uh, allow for incredible literary play. And Schmidt is also, I mean, I read a fair amount. I read probably more than most people. Uh, Anno Probably. Sch Anno, Anno <laughs> Schmidt is an order or two above me as a reader. Uh, really, that is, he wrote a lot, but basically uh, he's one of the great readers of all times. And one of the reasons I also appreciate him so much uh, is because he's directed me to so much more reading. And there are a couple of authors. So he's like you. Uh, perhaps. Or you're like perhaps, him. Right. Yeah. Uh, well, on some level, yes, yes.